Welcome to the vlog. I made chili. <laughs> you guys, I am so excited. Hopefully it's good. I haven't tried it yet or anything. But basically, I was influenced. My friend Megan was telling me about how she makes this black bean sweet potato chili and that it's so good and like so good for leftovers. You can eat it, you know, the next day for lunch. It doesn't call for ground turkey in the recipe, but she adds it in there. And so I did too. And I don't think I've like ever bought ground turkey ever. I've like never really had that, I don't think. But this is gonna be so good. I literally can't wait. I can link the recipe down below that she sent me because I was like, girl, I need your recipe. That sounds delish. So yeah, hopefully this is good. That was so tasty. Highly recommend. I put like avocado on top. You could do like any seasoning. You could do like sour cream, it said. So I should definitely try that. The sweet potato and the black bean. It's just like so good. And now I am headed to the mall. I just need a couple things. I came to Sephora for literally two things. And that's always how it happens when you leave with like everything. I posted a story, I was like, point of view. You literally come for two things whole store but everything was speaking to me and I felt like a lot of things were meant to be okay let's start with the things I came to get I've been influenced from TikTok a bunch I think her name on TikTok and Instagram is acquired style I follow her I forget her actual name but she's really cute and she's a twin sister and they're like blonde and I love their style anyway so I saw her TikTok and she was raving about Dior lip glow oil and I remember she said she used the shade raspberry yes wait what it literally says cherry right there, so I'm so confused, but this is the color, the shade raspberry. And so I went in there being like, okay, I need the shade raspberry. This was the last one left out of all the lip oil. I don't think there was like any left, so this must be really popular. Maybe everyone saw her TikTok and ran to get it because there was like none left. So I'm happy I snagged this. Let's try it out. I mean, I feel like I would use it over other stuff, like the lip liner I always use. Maybe on its own, I would assume it's just like a sheer, like shiny. Does it smell good? Yeah, it does. Like glowy, oily gloss. Yeah, I like it because it's not too sticky. It's still kind of like a lip gloss though. Love it. Exciting. Then, actually the other thing I came for, I forget. Oh no, yeah. Okay, I think it was this. So <laughs> this. I don't even remember what I came for. This moisturizer. I'm running on the moisturizer that I'm currently using. And Lucy uses this one. Skin FX Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I actually don't like this packaging. I've used Drunk Elephant moisturizers in this packaging before. And I feel like it's just like kind of wasteful. Like it's nice. It's easy to get the product out. But I feel like there's actually only this much in there. And then it's like this huge clunky tub. But anyway, I loved using Lucy's of this. Whenever I was home, I would steal it. And so I'm like, okay, I should get it for myself. Especially since I'm running low. I think she got that recommendation from Skincare by Hiram, which I've always wanted to sit down and watch his videos. I've like never watched his videos, but I want to like learn more about what skincare he thinks is good and whatnot. And this I know he loves because she told me that she got this cleanser because he recommended it. This is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. Right now I'm using the Tula cleanser, which I love so much, but I'm like this close to being out. I'm like squeezing the last drops out. So I need a new cleanser anyway. So this is perfect timing. Yeah, kale, green tea, spinach, but vitamin cleanser and my friend Brooke said that she loves this and always uses that too. Then to the things that I didn't really need. Well this I do because it, this is like the only lip liner I use. I use one other Kylie Cosmetics one kind of on and off but usually I will do the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. If you can kind of see like the color right there. It's just like a pinky nude. I feel like it actually shows up pretty dark on my lips just because my lips are kind of like a darker color. Like I feel like whenever anyone else wears it it's like a light pink but I mean it's kind of like a medium pink. Whatever. I just really like this lip liner and this is like my fourth one because I go through them so quick because it's like the only thing I do on my lips. When I do lips, this I was influenced by Anna Hyde's TikTok who I'm actually really excited to see. By the time this is up, you'll probably already know I'll probably already be in Puerto Rico with her and Audrey. I guess I can just say because you'll already see by the time this is up, I'm thinking. Anyway, so I saw Anna Hyde's TikTok and she was getting ready for one of her like 12 hour nursing shifts and she kept mixing the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy Drop into her moisture moisturizer just for like a glow I'm assuming and so I kept seeing it and I'm like you know maybe I should try those out because that sounds something that would be up my alley and really fun how do I get this off I don't know it just looks like this I feel like a lot of days like right now what did I put on I think just moisturizer did I put on anything else I don't think so I keep doing moisturizer with like tanning drops so which is why I feel like my face looks tan oh yeah there's nothing on my issues over here but I feel like on days that I don't want to put on makeup I literally will just curl my eyelashes and put on moisturizer so this would be fun to mix in because 
because it'll be like a little glow bronzy moment. Okay, last couple of things, I swear. Thanks for bearing with me. I needed to stock up on this whole De Janeiro hand sanitizer. My other one must be in here somewhere. Wow. I am the biggest Sol de Janeiro fan. Look at what else I have in here. The chapstick, which I love, and the hand cream, which I also love, but this hand sanitizer is the best. Oh, here's the other one I have. I think I'm running low. Yes, so this is the one I already had. Picked up another one. It's just the best hand sanitizer. It doesn't smell terrible. Like, look, I have this other one in here. It smells like alcohol, and to me, it literally smells like tequila. I don't know. It just smells so bad. So this is a actually good smelling hand sanitizer. I like that it's the spray. It's really helpful. I'm just gonna throw it in my car. Then we got, oh, I didn't know that they had a dry shampoo like since when where have I been so I saw this in there in the Sol de Janeiro section I'm like maybe I need to try it because I love dry shampoo my favorite by far and I've tried like so many it has to be the dry bar one but I want to give it a go I like the living proof I like the Moroccan oil one but yeah I want to try this one too because I've never seen it so thought that would be fun okay last but not least you guys actually side note before I tell you about this I almost got pulled in by the Laneige lip masks. I literally have to have like five or six of them and they're like big tubs like I'll never go through them but they have the new like holiday scents flavors out already and there was a peppermint and a gingerbread and I'm like oh that sounds amazing. I was like this close to getting the peppermint one. And I'm like, no, Gretchen, you have so many that you don't use. Okay, this I've always wanted to try. I think ever since it was like really popping off on TikTok once again. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand, the shade Medium Deep. This is also like the last one left. They didn't have the lighter shade, so hopefully this works out. I feel like I like a dark bronzy look. Like I look, like a lot of bronzer anyway, so I feel like this could be good. Or if it's dark, I could always like blend it out. So I'm so happy I finally got my hands on this. I feel like it was out of stock forever. And I would love to get the blush version of this as well but i feel like that's also always out of stock i didn't even look but that'll be fun to try i've heard like mixed reviews some people love some people don't. okay so i'm just inserting this right here you guys i've turned into a sephora shopaholic clearly these i got later on in life but i'm just gonna put it right here in the blog since it goes with everything else i got from sephora since i came later and also got these from sephora since i just i don't know i like looked at all of this when i went this day but then i was kept thinking about it that's always how it happens you know like you see and then you're like maybe then you keep thinking about it and you're like okay yeah i need to go back and get that so the olaplex new purple shampoo i actually used this for the first time yesterday and i feel like my hair really did look nice and like icy got rid of some of the brassiness it looked really bright and blonde max even said something so i'll tell you no if, like a guy notices like your hair your eyelash or something you're like wow okay i'm shocked like something is really working here since uh, normally i feel like they don't notice little <laughs> things like that but yeah i love the shampoo it smells really good i feel like it's as good as like the other olaplex shampoo so if you have blonde hair and you like a good purple shampoo i would totally recommend trying that i mean i tried it once but i really liked it yesterday this i haven't tried yet i wish i used this after i used this but this is just their bond intense moisture mask i really love the number three so i thought i would try this since i've never tried that one i'm just like obsessed with everything olaplex obviously i've gone through maybe five of these at this point maybe more i love them i use so much of it since i feel like this really keeps my hair strong since i bleach it so much it highlights people always ask me how do i get it so long and i I feel like this is my secret weapon because it just keeps my hair like strong and sort of like bonds the ends together at least that's how i think it works in my head it allows my really bleached kind of damaged hair to go pretty long so that's nice here is the summer fridays lip balm i love this stuff i think it's just like a new and improved packaging since the one before was more of like a tin foil i don't know how you describe that like metal feeling and my lip balm would always come like shooting out i feel like it just needed some improvements so this is gonna be amazing. Also popped into Lulu really quick on my way back to the car because I was like, let's just let's just see. And we all know I've been, or maybe we don't know, but if you don't know, I've been really into Orange Theory. Like I've been going so so much, and so I like wearing kind of longer like tank tops, short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts instead of like I feel like in Soul Cycle like spin classes, I always just do like bra leggings, which I feel like it depends. Like on some Orange Theory studios I've been to, there's a lot of girls in like bra and leggings, but then I feel like the Allentown one that I go to. It's like, not that I feel uncomfortable if I wear a sports bra and leggings, sometimes I still do, like if I feel like it, but I don't know, I just feel more comfortable like in a tank top because that seems like what people are wearing more. Anyway, I love this Power Pivot tank from Lulu. I have it in like a hot pink color and so I figured I should pick up a black one. It's just really, I don't know, I like the cut of it, the fit, how it looks, I feel like it's flattering. You can wear it front or backwards, over sports bras, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this was like totally impulse I saw on my way out. This reminds me, I feel like I used to have one of these back in the day when I was a rower girl swiftly tech 
tank this has to be the race length because it's a little shorter so i feel like this would just be good again for orange theory a little gray color there's probably this parking lot is always so packed and people are walking around and it's probably like what is that girl doing in her car okay last but not least i saw this light pink long sleeve version of the swiftly tech long sleeve in lulu like a couple weeks ago and i was like mm, no i don't need it and i've been thinking about it ever since so i'm like i hope they still have it and yes it's just like this beautiful light pink let me tell you the color oh pimmy i don't know what that's color anyway you can see the color though it's just like a light pink long sleeve i've been liking a long sleeve in there oh i'm realizing i wonder if i'll get this hemmed like cropped because the gray and black long sleeve that i wear all the time i think i actually got cropped or in the race length version which is just like a little shorter oh i wonder if they had this in the race length i didn't even see anyway we'll see how this goes maybe i will end up getting it hemmed but yeah that's my little haul that i thought was gonna be really little and it was kind of long <laughs> look at you oh, wait why are you in suit today it's like, a weight game oh okay i was like brushing home i'm like you're gonna be yeah. in a suit no no but this is still fancy mm -hmm. i miss this lulu jacket i feel like you haven't whipped yeah. that out in a while okay outfit, right? yeah brody and i can't wait to watch you tonight mm -hmm. oh this is reminding me i've been meaning to ask you we need to pull this rug this way a little more and that way a little more we can do that later yeah everyone told me on instagram that it would look better if it's not like completely flush with the couch did you miss me are you happy i'm home <laughs> Did I scare you? Now is the perfect time to remind you guys of our most favorite mattress ever. It is so dang comfortable. We can't stay away, can we? So comfortable that Brody naps in here all day, doesn't he? But we've actually had our Helix sleep mattress for over a year now we got it last september if you guys remember when we moved in and i could not recommend it enough you guys will always ask me be like what's that mattress brand again that you love like you've had the mattress for so long helix sleep and it makes sense why we love it so much because it's actually tailored to max my sleep preferences our body type they have a sleep quiz that will match you to the perfect mattress for you so that's exactly how that happened we answer questions like you're a side sleeper if you sleep on your back if you're a stomach sleeper and if you like a soft mattress mattress feel, a medium feel, firm feel, and so it's so perfect. I put in Brody's sleep references too. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's why we love our mattress so much. It came so quick and easy, like rolled up tight in the box, so it's so easy to set up. Let me show you guys. I know that our <laughs> sweet pea mattress model is called the Midnight Lux. Let me show you guys. Oh, look at it it's just so perfect because i didn't even tell you but max and i are both side sleepers and we prefer like a medium feel because i like it soft but i feel like if it's too soft my back ends up hurting you know but obviously i don't want it to be like so hard and firm so this is just like perfect you guys look at how cozy this is like i can't wait to jump in my bed at the end of the day or if you're brody you lay in it all day <laughs> You look so sleepy. <laughs> Can't with this dog, you guys. But if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried out before, I totally get it, especially since a mattress can be such a big decision, but that's why Helix actually has a 100 night sleep trial. So you guys can try out their mattress and you have over three months really to see if you like it. And if you don't, they will come pick it up for you. You get a full refund. Plus I know Helix mattresses actually come with a 10 year warranty and they have financing options available. So you can have like flexible payment plan. So you guys are in the market for a new mattress we love our helix mattress so so much like i could not recommend enough so and you guys can go to helixsleep.com slash christian you will get up to 200 dollars off your new mattress plus two free pillows helixsleep.com slash gretchen and now we are gonna go to the dog park <laughs> I don't know if Brody Man has that much energy. Maybe we'll head over there in the next hour or so though. I'll let him leisurely wake up. I'll gently wake you up because we are going to hang out. You saw Max was getting all ready to go for his game tonight. He has an away game. So we're gonna watch his game tonight and like lounge on the couch. So I wanna make sure you get enough exercise in, huh? Good morning. Realizing I didn't even film like watching Max's game last night or anything. Brody and I were just chilling after you guys saw the dog park. But I just went to Orange Theory and I wanted to show you. I wore my new black tank top from Lulu. Normally I wear it the other way around where like the high neck part that's in the back right now is in the front and then the low part's in the back. But it's like reversible. You can do either way. And the way this sports bra is cut, it like goes up high in the back you see and then it's like low in the front. So I thought this would look better. But yeah, I love it. I'm so happy this was like an impromptu purchase yesterday and Brody and I are gonna go on our morning little walk now
that did not. That did not count. Yeah, it's probably touching the back. On yeah, the ground. yeah. fail i did not vlog barely at all yesterday you guys saw i went to orange theory and i played cornhole with max and we ate burgers and salad for dinner and that was it but yeah sorry i didn't vlog more i feel like i was just doing a lot of work on my computer all day i will vlog more today hopefully today is fun we'll see what's up and look at how cute brody looks right now like are you kidding me i put that navy blue blanket down because it's pot why is his paws have been getting the couch quite dirty, so how am I supposed to get anything done when I just want to like cuddle with him? But shocker, went to Orange Theory again this morning. Just been loving it. Puts me on such a routine and it like sets me up for the best day, so that's why I've been liking so much. Honestly, when I'm half asleep, like crawling out of bed at 6.45, like not wanting to put on my workout clothes, I'm like, Gretchen, just do it because after you always feel so good. Like I always feel so good leaving, happy, excited for my day. I'm like, wow, I feel so accomplished already. So that's really why I go. Not even for the workout, just for how I feel after. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm realizing I don't think I even showed the vlog. I was just like posting Instagram stories. We made this pumpkin bread from Trader Joe's. Most of it is gone now. So good. If you see the pumpkin bread mix, it's called like pumpkin bread muffin mix. I think you can do either with it. At Trader Joe's, get it. It's so, so good. Like we're obsessed. I'm having deja vu. Did I show it on here? I don't think so. I think I just showed it on my Instagram. But yeah, you guys. Delish. I feel like there is so much going on behind me, but you guys may notice this shirt I wore yesterday. I am such an outfit repeater and gross, but I'm wearing it again today. But I was just like lounging around doing work yesterday and I'm like obsessed with this new top. Just came in from Revolve. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I always do that when I order on Revolve since they have such easy returns. It's like free and quick and everything. So I'll order a bunch and then anything that doesn't work out, I'll just like ship back. But this definitely worked out. I'm so obsessed. It's from Cotton Citizen. In. I have a couple of Cotton Citizen things and I feel like I had a bodysuit that I like never wore but then wait what's the thing that I wear all the time? Why can't I even remember? Is it a t-shirt? I don't know. They just have really good basic like cotton pieces is what I'm trying to say. I might have like a short sleeve version of this. Why can I literally not remember? Anyway I've heard such good things about this long sleeve. It's kind of just oversized cozy and it's crazy expensive for what it is. Like it's a white long sleeve shirt and the sleeves are so long that I literally rolled them up. So I'm like do I like love this? But I love it. Something about about it. It feels like such nice quality. I don't know. And Brody and I were just at the dog park and dogs were jumping all over me. So you probably can't even tell, but it is like dirty and muddy. He's really muddy too. So we're about to hop in the shower together. That's kind of like our new system when Brody needs a bath because it's honestly just easier if I like shower with him instead of trying to bathe him. Does anyone else like do that with their dog? So we're about to do that because he got so dusty and muddy, but it's already getting like darker in here in the afternoon. Like the lighting changes so much. I was going to show you guys a bunch of stuff that I got on Revolve. Probably I'll just show you the stuff that like I know I'll keep. Like if you can see there's like a brown leather jacket on the couch back there. Oh my gosh I'm so obsessed. It like screams fall to me. Even like I was trying it on earlier with this outfit just like plain very basic white tee. These like a goldy skinny jeans like light wash that I've had for a while and I just think cute but yeah some stuff I know I won't even keep so I'll just like pick and choose the good stuff I don't want this vlog to only be like I got this and this and like I feel like it's turning very haul -y for the vlog I want to show you guys stuff too so I'll do that tomorrow but right now Brody and I are going to go bathe together because <laughs> he needs it I feel like you can't even tell because he's like kind of a dirty golden color so when he's rolling around in the dirt like other dogs looked all like dusty and brown but he's kind of that color already so you can't really see it on him but Max has been golfing this afternoon with his butt Buddies. So we were just like getting work done. Went to the dog park for like an hour. And I don't know what we're gonna maybe we'll like what can Brody and I do? Maybe we'll order food, maybe we'll cuddle, maybe we'll work on the freaking puzzle that's been taking a year to complete. I know you're very tired after the dog but you're also very dirty. Like, I just feel like you can't even see it on him. I was trying to take photos. Oh, back, uh, I feel like there were some like dirty marks back there. Oh yeah, see like that's mud right there. Your face, like you really can't tell, but I swear he's very dirty. You're laying so awkwardly, sir. He's like bunched up. We're gonna take a little, a little bath. I wouldn't say that he likes it, but he does better with bathing than he used to when he was a puppy. He like hated it. And he's a lot better with the blow dryer too. Don't worry, make sure to do like only cold. And it's just to kind of make sure he's not like dripping, but I'll towel dry him, do the blow dryer for a second. He's usually a little wet, but he'll dry 
pretty quick. Okay, post Brody Gretchen bath shower time. We literally just go in there together. It's great. It's since the door he can't escape. But this is reminding me, you guys. I've wanted to tell you about these towels for so long now, but I wanted to like wait an adequate amount of time to make sure I really would recommend. You guys are probably like, why is it such a big deal? It's literally just towels. But if you're like me and you are, I don't know, a young adult and try to like invest in nice things for your home, like quality pieces that you'll have for a while, little things that you don't think make a difference, like a mattress, like I was saying earlier in the vlog, like sheets, towels, stuff like that. Anyway, I bought a bunch of towels from Brooklyn and with my own money. They're like a little pricey. I think worth every penny. I feel like these will just stay nice for years to come. These are the super plush. This is a bath towel, but then I also got bath sheets. Don't mind like the makeup and sort of like self tanner on it, but they're just like a really crisp white. I bleach them and it all comes out anyway. But I just wanted to show you. I've been using them for a couple months now. I placed the order a while ago and I've been wanting to tell you guys about it and I'm remembering because we just showered and they're just like really soft, thick, nice towels. Like I don't know how to describe. Also my pet peeve is if you get new towels and they shed on you. These don't shed. Like right as I got them, I washed and dried them. They don't shed, but they're still really plush, which I feel like is so hard to find because if you find like nice, fluffy, comfy towels, a lot of times they'll shed. I'll show you guys. You can tell I like a lot of color with my towels. Yes, okay, so this is the big size. This is the bath sheet, which I've never had bath sheets before, but I've always heard that they're like amazing, incredible. They're just like massive bath towels, basically. So this feels like you're in a spa, like so luxurious. It's literally the size of a blanket, like it's huge. And they're just like so, you guys can see how like fluffy and plush they are. They're amazing. So I'll have them linked down below. Again, like I bought all of these with my own money. I just love Brooklyn and I have Brooklyn and sheets, like the Lux, I think they're called. And they again feel like a hotel. They're just like amazing. So I guess this is what 24 is being excited about your bath towels and your sheets I'm like I'm investing in my bath towels and sheets like I'm so boring <laughs> Can you guys tell I have no friends here? Like this is what I can. This is what I get excited about. This is like what I'm doing on Friday nights. <laughs> Going to the dog park, shopping for bath towels. Yeah, so these are the bath sheets. This, I think, or no, this is the bath sheet. These look like the big ones. This is bath towel, whatever. I was just gonna say, is one in the wash? Where is it? I'm literally, am I okay? Like it's right here, I just used it. But I've just been wanting to tell you guys about them. If you're like in the market for new sheets, buy these. I might still have a code. I did Instagram stories with them a while ago. I can't remember what it is, but I can link it in the description if it still works. Works. Wait, I'm realizing I should have used my code when I got these. I don't know if I did it. But yeah, it's like my favorite thing to do when I ever get to work with brands if I like want to buy stuff from them in the future. I like use my code again, but yeah. I think worth every penny if you ask me. They're so nice. Hi, it's the next day. I feel like this keeps happening, but I know I wanted this to be a week in my life anyway, and I feel like I've already filmed so much, so it's good that I cut off the days and just move on to the next day. Anyway, what you guys didn't see last night was my back has been killing me. I don't want to complain though. I don't want to be like annoying, so I'll only say for a second, but if any of you felt anything similar. I don't know what I did. I don't know if I pulled something, but I was like miserable last night. Max picked up a pizza. We ate pizza and I literally slept for like 12 hours hoping that that would fix it, but it didn't. And yeah, I've been like stretching, trying to walk today. My back, it's like killing me. I think, I don't know. I did something like an orange theory, but it's like really bad. I also realized I did orange theory like five days in a row. So maybe I was just like overdoing it. Yeah, my back is really hurting, but I need to pull it together since Max has a hockey game tonight and I'm so excited to go. Oh, and I didn't even tell you guys because we literally organized this like a day ago. This is so last minute, but my best friend from home, Hannah, is coming tonight. She is going to come to the hockey game. I don't think she ever came to a hockey game last season. Also, it was just weird with COVID and everything. But she's going to come and she'll be here for the next two days. Well, tonight and then tomorrow during the day, but she just has to go back to Albany Sunday night because she works Monday. But I'm so excited to see her. It's going to be so fun. So I need to just get over my back kind of killing me and <laughs> that's stuff to do. We have fun things planned, but I want to show you guys on my cute pieces from Revolve. I'm like, I'm only going to show you the things I'm totally keeping. And like, I tried it on and I literally have to keep most things because they're so cute. I'm such a shopaholic though. Like I need to not. But so if I'm ever like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything to wear this fall. Just tell me that I'm wrong because I do. Because it's all behind me on the couch right there. So I need to show you guys because it's like literally the cutest new pieces and I just feel like your clothes are expensive but low key worth every penny. It depends. Some things I feel like you're like, okay, randomly this like isn't good quality but most of it I'm like, oh, this is expensive but like so nice. Like that brown leather jacket I think I mentioned is like the thing I'm most excited about. But he just wants to play. <laughs> look who's in his Hi. suit. Look at you. I look like the guy on the billboard. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, I can't believe I didn't even talk about it in the vlog yet. We still need to go see it. You guys, one of you DM me yesterday that you saw Max on a freaking billboard, like for the Phantoms. Like, okay, gotta go. All in his gear. Love you. Okay, Max had to leave. But what I was saying was a couple of you were DMing me that you saw this billboard of Max and so exciting. They didn't even tell him that they were gonna do that. And it's just like him and it must say something about like Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And then someone else DM me that there's another one on this other road and I can't believe we haven't seen them yet. So we keep being like, oh my gosh, we need to take a drive and see that. Maybe I will go that way, like on the way to the game tonight because I wanna freaking see. So yeah, that's really cool, it's really exciting. You guys know Brooke Michio, maybe you do. If you watch her YouTube videos, she DM me and she was like, oh my God, this is so cool. She's like, I never would've thought if it would've been like you or Max on a billboard first, like I would've guessed you and not him. Like this is so cool. So I totally would've guessed him. I feel like I always see like, well, at least I beat you. There was always like sports, like big hockey billboard, like by the rink, but anyway trying on clothes. First off, I feel like I wouldn't wear this together necessarily because it looks like I am just like a motorcycle person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like a biker girl because I just have the leather on the leather so I probably wouldn't do this together. Oh, imagine if these were like the same brown color though. That would be kind of like a vibe. Anyway, I kept talking about this brown leather jacket. This is definitely the most exciting. Well, exciting? But I was trying to say expensive thing. Like honestly, crazy expensive but I feel like something that if you like save up your money for such an investment piece, like I don't see myself ever not having this. Like I feel like this is something I'd have for so long because it's just such like a nice leather jacket. It's real leather so obviously any real leather jacket I feel like it's immediately going to be like hundreds of dollars because they just usually are I feel like. It's just like a cropped like oversized fit. I just like it looks so nice and you could dress it up, dress it down in so many ways. I threw on the white cotton citizen long sleeve that I was like raving about yesterday. And I remembered the thing that I have from them that I love so much is actually a different long sleeve shirt but it's like ribbed and sort of tight fitting. I actually got it in another color so you'll see but this is just like the nicest leather jacket ever. Like I think I need to get it in black. I guess I'll just wait because it's like so expensive and see how much I'm wearing this one But I feel like I'm just gonna throw it on all the time Oh, like dress like literally this but like black jeans or blue jeans like just so I'm just obsessed Okay, enough about the brown leather jacket these pants. I'm shocked. Okay I don't know if any of you have had trouble with the Aritzia Molina pants, but I've had so many issues with them I literally have gotten like three different sizes. None of them really work for me I think at first I was getting the regular length. It was way too short So then I got the long length, but then like it was weirdly tight on one side of my my leg. I found out I'm not the only one that has issues with them. I feel like so many people are like, Ritzy Melina, they're amazing. And you guys may remember, I feel like I post on Instagram and I'm like, I really tried to make a couple work and then I've like given them to friends and gave one to Lucy, gave one to Hannah, a pair of these pants and I was like wasting so much money. I'm like, hey, these just like do not fit me right. Lucy and I and Mandy, our cousin too, realized the button on the Ritzy Melina pant was like way closer to one belt loop like this and then the other one was the way over here. Like I feel like every single pair I got, I feel like they're just made kind of weird so they were always so tight on one leg and then not on the other. Oh, and the biggest thing was like see how the button is like right at my belly button the Ritzy Molina pant they would be like over here I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about but they're basically this style black leather pant but just from Ritzia and they fit like this like they just fit so weird they didn't look right to me what I'm trying to say is I finally splurged on these a goldie ones and you guys know goldies like my favorite brand ever all my favorite jeans are from there they fit so so, so, so much better. Yeah, I just feel like the Molina, they would be like really tight up here, but then they'd fit my leg. These fit perfect, I'm obsessed. They maybe could be, maybe you can see, maybe they could be a little bit longer. They like barely touch the top of my foot. So I feel like it almost looks short with no shoes, but I feel like with sneakers or boots or anything, these will be fine because they didn't have an option for length. But yeah, these are just my normal size, 27. Sometimes a goldie runs weird, so I wanted to mention that because like sometimes the jeans I'll have to go down. I think a lot of people say they run big, so a lot of times in the jeans I'll get 26, but these I stuck with. 27 because I feel like this material doesn't really stretch and it's perfect. I did hear they do run big for some people though so maybe you want to size down but yes. These black leather pants the leather pants of my dreams. Finally I have a good pair of black leather pants that I can wear and that I won't like feel so uncomfortable in because the ritzy ones like never fit right. Since I was just talking about it I thought I would put on the cotton citizen long sleeve that I got. This is such an interesting color I feel like on camera it almost looks kind of green I feel like in person it's just like a darker gray taupey color. I don't even know how you describe it but I always wear. I have this but it's just like in a light tan color I wear all the time so I figured I should get another color and I feel like this is so cute this with the black leather pants like some sneakers adorable I feel like the lighting is getting so dark in here again I don't know what it is maybe we could just because it's cloudy out can you even like see this sweater right now so I feel like the turtleneck is up so high maybe if I pull it or kind of roll it over okay I feel like the lighting is better now I just turned on the light but I saw this free people sweater sort of last minute before I was checking out and I was like oh 
that'd be so good for games it's like a dark gray long sleeve kind of like cropped ribbed I really like this little slit here I feel like it was just a little different kind of fun and the turtleneck is kind of high so maybe I could like roll it again I don't know we'll figure that out but yes I just thought this was such a cute sweater okay then this sweater I'm realizing you're probably just like Gretchen what is the big deal it's just like a cream really like oversized fluffy knit sweater but I think it's becoming like an issue I have an addiction with revolve like if something's out of stock in my size I'll put in my email and then right as I get an email that is back in stock I like rush and try to get it really quick so it's kind of like a thrill and this was one of those things I waited for so long I actually just ordered two because the same thing happened they were out of stock it's like aloe white biker shorts you probably can't even envision but the model is wearing this with like white aloe biker shorts and I just feel like it looked so comfy but like casual carefree I just thought it was so cute anyway I love this big cream sweater I just thought it would go with so many things obviously these leather pants like it looks good with could dress it up dress it down just really cozy for the fall and my whole wardrobe is kind of like white cream sweaters I have less than I used to so I just thought this would be such a good basic literally go with everything this is still free people free people has like the best sweaters okay then this top like how stunning is anyone else just like that is the most gorgeous top I've ever seen because this is another one of those things that I have been waiting for the email for so long like honestly months and months and months I finally got an email that it was back in stock in my size and I was like freak yeah I ordered it so quick and it literally comes in two days like I'm just like hyping up revolver here but seriously I get so much outfit inspo from what the models wear like what they put together because obviously like it looks good in the photos so then I'm like oh I want to do that literally the outfit I think I'm gonna wear to the game tonight is completely based off of this model on revolve like the outfit she was wearing because it looks so good but I literally would wear this to the game this is so cute but I think I would just be too cold like I get so cold in there so yes this tan top I have like a similar style of this top but in white and black and I love them they're like my go-to so I knew I needed like this nude color but basically with everything I'm saying I'm obsessed I really am and how cute is this top this is sort of like a little risque for me you're probably like wow that's so open but I feel like with like high-waisted pants like this like it works and I kind of feel blessed that I have no boobs so it's not like anything's popping out I almost <laughs> wish my boobs were bigger to kind of fill this out because I feel like it's kind of like hanging low because there's nothing to fill it up or have it stay up <laughs> do you know what I'm saying but I just thought this was really cute could be fun for like a date night because it's a little more I don't know just fun and this bodysuit need I say more just yes just look at it like the sweetheart neckline i'm like no bodysuit like this i just feel like it's so i don't know cute stunning a little detail the shoulders are like a little ruffled i just feel like it's a very like elevated more like fancy bodysuit then last but not least <laughs> Can you even? Like, I'm so obsessed. I feel like Clueless vibes or something. I don't even know if that's the right movie. But do you guys know what I'm saying? Look at this, like, plaid blazer. I'm obsessed with blazers right now, especially. Like, how every single thing I'm, like, justifying shopping. I'm like, I'll wear to Max's games. But seriously, all the Swedish girls last year wore the cutest blazers to every game. And I'm like, where are you getting these blazers? A lot they said from Zara. So I need to go to Zara and check out their blazers. I'm realizing right now I have an addiction. This was also one of those things that I was waiting to come off of back order out of stock do you know what I mean I got an email about this maybe the skirt too I was waiting for both because these are like a little not a set but they go together like they're the same color I don't even know if I'd wear them together most of the time because I imagine this with like leather leggings or jeans or something and then the skirt with like a big comfy sweater like that cream sweater I got would be so cute with this little mini skirt but yeah if you guys are interested in this also expensive I just feel like so this quality of this blazer is so nice again I feel like I'll have it forever I feel like it'll just go with so many things like so neutral and like a light color obviously but what I wanted to mention because this is like shocking and bottoms I always have to get a medium usually just small will be like too small on my waist or whatever but this skirt I feel like runs so big because this is a small and it's almost like big on my waist and that normally would like never happen because I got the medium it like would not stay up at all and so I had to get the small so I'm just warning you if you're gonna get this to probably size down I think this is a small too because it's just like the oversized blazer look I don't even know if I would do this bodysuit with that I probably would do a lighter color to go more with the light colors but this <laughs> I'm so obsessed. I ordered two days ago like it just came and I think something else about Revolve is like the instant gratification because it literally comes so quick is like so real. I'm like wow I could have it like literally in two days because it comes so quick but this is so cute. I can't wait to wear this as a little set. Get some photos in it. Surprise surprise. I knew this was gonna happen. This is the next day and I didn't even show you guys my outfit last night but I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here since I was telling you guys about it. I was so inspired. A Revolve model who's literally was wearing the same thing like styled for that 
sweater. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting the sweater and doing the same thing. So it was so cute. We had so much fun at the game and I'm so happy Hannah is here. I just ran back inside to grab my vlog camera. I almost forgot about you guys because we're going to King of Prussia right now. So I wanted to make sure I like filmed our fun little day since we always say we never get photos together. We never film together because when we're together, we're just like nonstop catching up, chit chatting. Like we could talk for hours. So yeah, I want to bring you guys along. Do you guys feel that way? Like with your closest friends, you never have photos together or anything because when you're together, you're just like too busy being in the moment, having fun that you like always forget to capture content because that's how we feel and we always say that that happens. Look who I'm with. <laughs> Oh, your hair looks so good right now. It looks really like it's so good. Everyone comment about how beautiful Hannah's hair looks. No, no. We're obsessed. It's so icy. Like if you're blonde, you know. And they're probably like, wow, her hair's really good. I abuse the purple shampoo. <laughs> abuse. It's just such a good tone. It's so bright. And I feel like against the black, it makes it look even yeah, no, more. That, it's it's blonde. an un, unrealistic shade right now because it's right against the black. Yeah. That makes me want to be blonder immediately. All the other blondies get it. When you see someone else blonder, you're it's, like, ooh, I could be blonder. Yeah. I could go blonder. Platinum. Yeah. And then in reality, like, absolutely not. It's blonde jealousy. <laughs> I have blonde jealousy. Blonde fall ball. But like, people at like, work say they're, they're like, I want my hair to be silver like yours. Like, I'm going gray, so I feel like I should just go with what you did. I'm like, thank you. Someone said that to Anna. She's like, okay, this is too far. Okay. Like, it's not gray, okay? It's icy. Yeah, I'm like, ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving free people. We were probably in here for 30 minutes. P.O.B. Nice casual winter, maybe like Christmas situation. Reception dress. <laughs> Hannah's looking for her reception dresses already. <laughs> Is anyone else like such a planner like Hannah? Hannah definitely knows her Halloween costumes for the next like five years. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've been in here literally dress. forever. Okay, you guys. We're like, we're just gonna pop into Anthro really quick, smell a couple candles. I'm fully getting this candle. Please come here and get this. We're like, they look like art pieces. Like this looks like a vase that you'll keep after. And it smells good too. And I think it's the scent, whiskey and birch, and it smells like, can you guys smell right now? I wish you could smell. It smells so good. These candles are just beautiful. Hannah's like, I'm just gonna smell. And she's like, oh yeah, we need. <laughs> Hannah and I enable each other when we shop. But like, look at them. Sweet green. Guys, look at how good these look. I think we're both obsessed with coming here because we don't have them like where we live. It just so hits different good. every time. It really does hit different. I like that we have our own setup back here in Aritzia. Guys, look at how cute the gray Molinas are on Hannah. I like them more than I thought that I would. I really like, like the gray. They look like putty, like I will play with them in my hand. They look so cute. I need to see the tan ones on you too. Also, I just randomly grabbed this green coat and we're liking it. It's so cute and it's extra small and get it because she always buys things in a large. But I'm also wearing a sports bra underneath. Like if it was yeah. a sweater underneath, it might be too tight. Well, maybe you just know you can't wear sweaters under it. But like, it's cute. Is it too short almost? You know what I mean? Or is it supposed to be like that? I feel like you wouldn't like it for this long though. Yeah. It would look cute. Isn't it cute? It's so warm. It feels like I'm wearing a duvet as a coat. It feels like a oh, duvet. Miss West Elm. <laughs> Next up, we have bubblegum pink sweater. Do I need? Am I gonna wear it? But I really like the beige I think pants. If you had like black jeans on with like a nice belt. No, I feel yeah. like not like pink and black looks weird to me. I feel like I would need like blue jeans. I feel like you wear this with like a leather jacket over it and like oh. black jeans with like a nice belt like tucked in the front. Oh, okay. A little edgy but like girly. And it's the softest thing I've ever put on my body. It's so soft. It is so pretty. Okay, I really Gender like your radio. pants. <laughs> I really like your pants. I feel like the beige ones kind of give me like hot grandpa vibes. You know? No. Like, no, that's my vibe. I love the beige. Guys, gray or beige, comment down below. We'll have already made the decision by this point, but I want your opinion. Gray or beige? I like beige. Like, I like this pink sweater better with these pants, but we're like, hmm, about these pants. I feel like I have a lot of light jeans that fit like this, sort of like straight leg, looser. You're getting a puffa? You're getting a puffa. I'll do the Brody March. I'm getting a puffa. <laughs> exactly how his feet move. Okay, maybe we don't need these if I have a lot of light jeans that feel like this. And they're like almost too short, so. Okay, you guys, not really with the light blue sweatshirt. <laughs> not that good with the light blue sweatshirt, but I have this black sort of trench coat that I got here last one, and it's just too big. I don't like the way it fits me, and this one fits perfect. This is called the Connor coat, if you're wondering. So I'm gonna get this, and if any of you want my other one that doesn't fit me, let me know, seriously. Like, I'm not gonna be able to have both, but this one just fits so good. I wanna make sure I try it on with a sweatshirt, so I know like sweaters will fit underneath. Yeah. Dress it up, dress it down. I feel like this one just looks nice. It can like button all the way up. Questrum. <laughs> Hannah just left. I miss her already. That was so nice having her here. It's like a taste of home, huh? You love Hanny too. Brody really loves her. So it was so good having her even though it was like short but sweet. And it was so nice having her at the game yesterday. And we just had our day at KOP. And I miss her already. I just like love my friends, especially friends you've had for a while. There's like no other feeling, you know. So special, I feel like as I get older, 
I just appreciate my time with friends that much more and it's just like I don't know I just feel like when you're younger you take it for granted because you're around your friends all the time So when you're older, it's like that much more special I don't know if any of you are my age like you feel the same way whenever you get to see your friends So but I feel like this vlog is getting so so long So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye